The best way that aged care services can link in with access and support workers is to really communicate and stay in touch with us. There's been quite a lot of times when I've done a lot of work to support a client to link in with a service and then they have had one discussion with either the client or a family member who have then rejected the services and that might be related to an access barrier that um, either hasn't already been addressed or that the service provider wasn't aware of. Sometimes it, it can really help just to have that feedback back to us and then we can maybe support that client to engage with the services again. It's also helpful to ensure that the information that the service providers have on My Aged Care is correct and up to date. It can also be helpful if service providers for the individual clients themselves, if they make sure all their information is up to date. Because there's many a times when you go into a, an individual's file on My Aged Care and they are involved with a number of different organisations, but they're actually not because that service provider hasn't updated it on the My Aged Care system. So, you know, for example, an allied health professional hasn't actually been involved with them. Um, they've actually shut their case, but it says on the file that they're still open. 